In this video I'm gonna show you all the guns in the game Dolmen. This is the last gun I've unlocked just recently, just now. I've done the other guns beforehand a few days earlier in another video where I didn't know of the existence of the Niki Führer. That's pretty much the last gun you can unlock. Where is it? Where's my baby? My new baby. Niki Führer. I need to be careful to not pronounce it Führer. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I know. Sorry. Um, it's a poison kind of fire gun. It also shoots fire from time to time. Yeah. But just if you're wondering why I'm wearing something else and kind of look different. Everything else was recorded on a different day. And let me kind of show you what should be the strongest gun right here, right now. This bad boy here burns through permanent energy and also does fire from time to time, apparently. But, like you see, it just burned through all my energy pretty quick and I have a very strongly built energy build. So, that's the big problem about the gun. You won't have enough energy to fuel its burning rage. You can use this mode. If you hold down on it. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Woo. Hey dude. If you hold down on it, it's full order. If you tap it once. I mean, oh, if your energy is burned, it shoots it one time. I like that, pretty much. Theoretically, it should be the strongest gun, but since it burns that much energy with its one shot, ultra damage shot, it's kind of not quite worth it. It's pretty nice. And it doesn't burn for the shield, apparently, too. Yeah, it's it's strong, but uh, you need an immense energy build and science build, 13 science pocket points to unlock it. So you can use it properly, because, I mean, let's just count shots, how many shots I can fire off before this one is burned. One, two, three, four, five, six, six shots, or oh, seven, I can't count for shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's the first gun, the last gun you unlock. And the other ones, past, Ke past Patrick is gonna explain you. Watch too much Call Me Kevin recently. It's not past Kevin, it's past Patrick, it's myself, sadly. We're gonna test quickly all the guns pretty much in this game, starting with the two poisonous weapons. So we're gonna test the Drill Uzi, the Pitnoplasma right now, then the two ice guns, the, where is it, Drilluka and Soen Rifle, and then the three fire weapons, which both, both poison weapons are pretty strong in their own right. Here we've got the Maser Laser Rifle from the Drill Uzi. It pretty much just shreds for everything, but also for your energy. Yeah! The two poison weapons are pretty OP. But, like you can see, it also burns through a lot of energy here. So let's try the normal shooting variant of that gun. They're pretty strong. Oh, I got them stuck. Nice. But not immediately killed both of them. Oh, dodgy MF. Uh, don't need your loot. Now restart and test the drill loot sound that dude there. Pretty sure they are, shouldn't be affected by poison that much. More laser. 
Yeah, no, it's pretty OP. In my opinion, I think one of the stronger guns in here. Second gun on our list, Bitmo Plasma. Yeah, 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 I'm not tripping. It's called cool, that. Which is a nice pistol with a strong ultimate attack, a little bit slower, but also easier on the ammo and energy bar. That was all oh, the secondary fire, which is a nice thing. Okay, on those enemies, it's I think poison. Oh, okay, it does pretty good damage, can't lie. Poison apparently is pretty OP, as I die almost. Woo. Don't kill me, bro, it's just a test. I like ice more for those guys, and when they come close, fire. That's the one fire type, the secondary, the heavy fire. That's the normal cooling one, which is more rapid fire. It also does immense damage. I missed the big bolt. The sound is annoying, but I feel like both both poison weapons are pretty OP in their own right. Well, not if you fight a poison type, but that just makes sense. Next gun. Next on our list are the two fire weapons you get earlier, the shotgun and the MG, the SMG, what are the correct names, Driller MG, Nikiderma shotgun, with show, they are still dead, let's test it on that dude first, it's the shotgun is pretty good for those, you can lure them in, Let them get close and then blast them with the shotgun. And that kills them pretty quick even with the shields. Okay. Then we've got the secondary blast here which is gonna use a lot of energy for ground control. But my energy is also gone already. The big problem here. Let's use it. Oh, I saw you. So, uh, it's probably the weakest weapon just for the secondary fire taking too much energy away. And I like this shotgun more, the secondary on the SMG, which does 25 damage. So now let's compare it with the other one. There's, there's someone alive, right? Nope, there's not someone alive. I prefer the SMG as fire weapon. 25 damage versus 18 and more spread on this one. Or 20 right now. Yeah, I like this in G more. Also, it has good range and you can switch between that and the range doesn't waste any bullets and energy. And strafe those. Maybe it's also just better upgrade than my shotgun. You next weapon. Next is everybody's favorite fire weapon, Nikki Boom. I see it's not fully gold upgraded with me. I should restarch that. Restarch. Yep. Because it does massive damage and massive AOV damage too. And it kind of traps the enemies in here. 
So this is pretty much the weapon I use to defeat Tenor of the Sea. It's it's kind of OP. It doesn't have range. That's the only thing. I mean, now it will. Yeah, I mean, I just glitched something so strong. Is this gun? Of course, alternate fire mode doesn't restore energy either. So you're gonna wasting energy with that. But the first fire mode in itself is pretty strong and OP. Look at that. That's pretty much from what I've seen. In the people's minds, the strongest weapon. And I definitely have to agree. Fire type weapons, this one is definitely ruling. Yeah, next, ice weapons. Next is the drill car and the sewing rifle. I didn't unlock the drill car till now. We have to look up where to find it. And the sewing rifle uh, I had for a long time and it pretty much carried me through this let's play most of the times. So the sewing rifle is kind of my favorite here. It has those special beams from time to time where you get little ice bubbles on the side of the gun circling around. That's pretty much the good stuff then and you can pull also for a short second. And for as much time I've used it. Okay. I'm still not quite sure. The automated mode just gives you a burst of free shots with those ice things. Just for a little bit energy burned. Well, it looks like it. So you get more bursts. Which, if you don't mi if you don't hit anyways, they're pretty useless. But yeah, this weapon carried me far. It's the best ranged weapon, I would say. Not on those enemies that useful. I think those quarters is the better. But wow! Bastards. But for ranged fights, this definitely rules and you unlock it pretty early. I never really use the old fire mode because it takes away a little bit enemy enemy. Energy! Energy! Even though, as you can see, it's pretty strong in its own way. And I'm still frozen. And then this little baby. It has a really sick old fire mode. That you can load. That's not gonna take away too much of your energy bar. Sounds them pretty great. Okay, just stay there and run away. Good job, dude. Good job. But it's also pretty slow, apparently. Oh boy. Uh, I feel like I like the sound rifle more. My personal preference. We're not gonna test the beginner guns, just the special ones. I feel like I can say the rifle is more than mine. Let's just see how the AOV is. Not that great. You unlock this before the Queen's domain fight, so it's supposedly supposed to be weaker than the sewing rifle I'm pretty sure because you unlock it earlier yeah yeah 
pretty much. So I'm getting destroyed by those dudes. Yeah, I'm not that big of a fan of that one. Okay. Unless the end boss gives me another gun, that should be pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. He's out. 